There's often something satisfying about seeing someone get revenge. Let's go nuclear. This is from r slash nuclear revenge. Guy behind me in traffic was blinding me in traffic uh, with his high beams, so I violated his retinas with the full force of an afternoon sun. Man, there is nothing worse than a jackass on your tail being a jackass in traffic, acting like you're the only problem on the road. Uh, I was driving home from work, and traffic was backed up pretty bad for a few miles. It was stop and go. Uh, when I get stuck in that, I usually back off about 75 feet, or I, I usually back about 75 feet off the car in front of me so that I can hold a pace and move at a slow but constant roll, like the semi-trucks do. This way, it, uh, I'm not participating in the bumper-to-bumper -bumper move and brake like the rest of the smooth brain drivers. This saves on fuel and fatigue on both your brakes and your engine as well as your transmission. This is actually a decent move. Uh, the person behind you was probably just pissed off that someone could merge into the lane in that spot. You got to get right up on that car behind them, or or they're gonna you're, you're going to keep me from getting to where I need to go. I'm going to be 30 seconds later than I would have been. Uh, some dude in an Acura crossover was behind me. Why is it always the Acuras? Actually, it's usually the BMWs or the Lexuses. Lexi? I'm not sure. And I guess he was getting upset because I wasn't two feet from the car in front of me driving like a smooth brain. So he gets up on my butt and starts beeping his horn at me. LOL, I think to myself as I turn up my radio. But then he starts uh, flashing his brights at me, which is where I get annoyed. That is annoying. Uh, he's in one of those Acuras that has the super bright LED lights. Of course he is. My car is much lower than his, so his low beams are already pretty bright in my mirrors. Bright enough that I don't want to look at them. The first time he flashes his high beams, it, uh, it puts spots in my vision for a moment. I hate when people do that. Whether they're oncoming traffic or whatever. Also in many places, can be against the law. Just saying. Uh, it genuinely hurt my eyes. After the first flash, he waits about 10 seconds, beeps his horn, and then flashes me again. Like that's going to get him where he's going any faster. Uh, now I'm getting pissed. I'm thinking, where the F do you want me to go? Do you really think being two feet from the car in front of me will make uh, traffic move faster. Then he flashes me a third time, but this time he held them on for about 15 seconds. Time for the gloves to come off. During those 15 seconds, as I'm looking away from my mirrors, I see my 14,000 lumen uh, searchlight sitting in my passenger seat, at which point I'm immediately overcome by a wave of chaotic lawful excitement. Uh, what he has just set in motion cannot be stopped. I think to myself, oh, buddy, you just opened the wrong can of worms. We're gonna, or you're gonna learn today. I grabbed the flashlight and set it to the absolute max 14,000 lumen brightness setting. The flashlight has a sensor in it uh, to automatically dim the light if facing down on a table because otherwise the diodes would get so hot they would melt the lens. That's a powerful light, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the 14,000 lumen uh, setting is so intense, the 57 watt hour uh, or 57 watt hour battery can only hold it for 180 seconds before the flashlight automatically notches down to a measly 9,500 lumens. During those 180 seconds, that's three minutes, the light will burn through 15% of its battery uh, power. For reference on just how bright this is, the literal effing sun emits a luminosity of 11,000 lumens per square foot on a bright and clear day. So, it is the force of the sun. Or at least nearly. I turn around and aim it straight out the back of my rear window. My car is pretty noisy, so before I turn it on, I rev up my engine to make sure Captain Smoothbrain is eyes forward when I violate his retinas with the full force of an afternoon sun. I hit the power button and can only imagine the freight train of shock and pain that plowed over this man. It was so bright, his automatic headlights shut off uh, because the car thought it was daytime. With the light on, I could 
see him uh, clear as glass through his tinted windshield. He was covering his eyes and looking down, probably screaming. I watched him try and uh, flip down his sun visor, but his hand couldn't find it, as I thought to myself, burn, you mf or burn. I imagine my facial expression was similar to that of a six-year-old roasting insects with a magnifying glass on a bright summer day. He was roasting this man's eyes with a magnifying glass. After about five seconds of blinding light, I took mercy and shut it off. He proceeded to back way back and move over to a different lane. Was this an unsafe thing for me to do? Absolutely. Was it illegal? Almost certainly. Was it warranted? Without question. Possibly the highlight of my year. Drive safe and don't be a jerk to the car in front of you because they might just have the tools to teach you a lesson. This I have seen uh, all over the place and is a hilarious story. This is probably my favorite nuclear revenge uh, because everybody has been in that position in traffic. And if you are like Captain Smoothbrain, knock it off. Quit it. Up next, uh, fire me from my job with no notice. I'll ruin your entire company. Uh, to start off... or. To start off December, I was let go uh, from my job because they didn't have the time to train me for the job role. I needed to take out a loan to survive, and it took me three weeks to find something new. I was hired for uh, for customer services administrative or administrator role, and as I'd never done that type of work, I was told I'd be given full training on the job. Uh, the girls in the office never bothered, and I simply learned the job myself. I was told my performance was more than they expected, but suddenly I was called in the office at 8.30 a.m. when I arrived and told they were really sorry, but they didn't have the time to train me, so I would be let go immediately with no warning or notice. I was completely shocked by this. To add, uh, my contract stated I was to be given 28 days notice of termination. Now, if your contract is at-will employment, then that's entirely different. But that is a breach of contract right there, um, firing someone without the, the requisite 28 days. Also, if the contract stated that they were going to train them, then they should have figured that out because now they're in breach as well. I don't know if the contract stated that, but you don't hire someone and throw them in the deep end and just expect them to figure that figure it out. It's going to make your new employee fail, and it might make your company fail. Uh, the company I worked for uses government grants as a form of payment, so they would regularly claim they have done certain things they haven't to make more profits from the government, such as for forging signatures and lying about the work they have done to gain more funding. No company should ever get government funding because this kind of fraud is the only result. Basically, we get funding on government for providing services to lower income uh, customers. That's all I can say. I was involved in a different department, but shared an office with the department responsible for lying about profits. It's a small company, and the director would constantly hassle them to forge signatures as we can get the jobs through quicker. And if we had an audit, he would go to prison for what was being done. Not enough time. Never enough time in prison for fraud. Uh, so when I got laid off, not by a manager, but someone who worked same level in my department as I was, absolutely... Uh, same level in my department, I was absolutely livid that they dragged me in a, uh, a, a 60 to 80 minute drive for me to leave. Two minutes later, I got home uh, and immediately called the fraud whistleblower helpline. Um, I apologize for struggling through that uh, that particular paragraph. I don't know if Eng English is the first language of this author, but I never make fun of people who... Um, who, where English is their second language, because as you just noticed, English is my first language, and even I haven't mastered the thing. Uh, nothing uh, came of this until a week later when they wanted more details. Thing is, I am very good at being silent and taking in my surroundings. I was able to tell them which accounts had been forged and lied about. I also had considerable email evidence of what had been going on. So long story short, a majority have lost their jobs, including the people who couldn't be bothered to train me and went running to the director to fire me, including the director who was now being investigated for fraud and facing time in prison and a massive fine. Always live by the mantra, F around and find out. Absolutely. Um, 
those kinds of situations are rife in companies that take money from governments because it's very, very easy to just steal more money from the taxpayers. And the, the people who do it get a slap on the wrist. One guy is going to go to prison. Yeah, the company might go away, but the other people could easily start up another company and get into the same racket. That is why guys like this poster need to exist and blow the whistle.